hey, Skipper. Any interest in a small drink? It's a special occasion. I'm on duty. Have anything without alcohol? You're always on duty, Shepard. It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. I see. That's why you drive yourself so hard. A Williams has to be better than the best, if only to avoid suspicion. That's what my dad told me the night before he retired. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. I should have figured this out myself. I don't know how I can help you, though. Look at who I am, Shepard. Do you ever hear me ask for help? It's not that bad things don't happen to me. If you stay with me long enough, maybe I'll tell you about some of them. But I deal with them myself. I don't need a shoulder to cry on, a knight to rescue me, or a man to make me happy. This is who I am. I like her. And you better like her too. So, you still interested in me? Baggage and all? Everyone comes with baggage, Ash. The trick is finding a match set. <laughs> That's awful. Tell me you got that out of a fortune cookie. But hey, once we save the galaxy, maybe the Alliance will get its act together. Start acting like an actual government. The Alliance isn't perfect, but it does well enough. Have to disagree with you there, Skipper. Giving aliens the run of our most advanced ship? Kowtowing to the Council? The Alliance should be able to stand on its own. We can't. Yet. Why not learn from the races who've been standing for the last thousand years? How can you say that, given everything we've seen out here? They're already acting like Saren is our problem, already sicking us on the bear. The council races will always think of themselves first. It's human nature. We can't afford to trust them, not if the survival of humanity is on the line. Ash, you believe in God, an infallible, all-knowing creator with a plan for the universe. You think the diversity of views in the galaxy wasn't part of that? I don't know what God intends, Shepard. I don't think humans have some divine mandate, if that's what you mean. I don't think we're superior. Humans are aggressive. We think fast, we move fast. Wars have started because of our need for constant progress. The Council can balance that. Well, that's... Huh. I guess I never thought of it that way. All big picture, I mean. It doesn't make what happened to Grandad any better, though. What happened to your grandfather shouldn't have happened. Well, at least somebody knows that. You and he would have gotten along. He was a tough old bastard. I have a feeling things will come to a head soon. But don't worry, Shepard. I'll protect you. What's your opinion on the last mission? We've got a hard fight ahead. Fleets of AI dreadnoughts who've exterminated all life dozens of times over? I think the odds are against us. We have an advantage. We know they're coming and we know about their indoctrination. I don't plan to lie down and die, Skipper. Don't worry about that. But I'm infantry. Against Reapers, my rifle may as well fire spitballs. I won't have a place in this war. That's what pisses me off, not being able to shoot back. About Lieutenant Alenko. How are you holding up? Can't say I'm better. Sorry for anything I said back there. I just... I don't want any deaths on my hands, and it's my fault. Williams, listen to me. I'm in command of this mission. I made the call, not you. He's dead because of me. It's funny. I don't have any fear of dying for the Alliance. But when I think of someone dying for me... Um... If you don't mind my asking... How did you deal with the losses on Akuz? It was my job to get everyone out safe. I failed. I vowed not to let that happen again. Same here. I'll remember him, and I'll do better for him. Yeah. I guess that's all we can do. Thanks for the advice, Skipper. We'll talk later, Williams. I've been thinking about Saren. I actually feel a little sorry for him now. He's become a slave to the Reapers, and he can't even see it. 
He is trapped inside his own mind. Part of him senses his identity slowly being swallowed up by Sovereign, but he is powerless to stop it. I wonder how he first fell into Sovereign's trap. Did he think he could somehow stop the Reapers from returning? Or was he simply driven by a lust for power and glory? Whatever Saren's reasons may have been, they're long gone now. He has to be stopped. Yes, I suppose you're right. He may be Sovereign's victim, but he is also a threat to all life as we know it. Uh, let's not spend every free minute talking about Saren. It is bad enough we are chasing him across the galaxy. I like talking with you, Liara, no matter what the subject. Then let us talk about you. Are you okay? I'm not sleeping well. The visions keep me up at night. I wish there was something I could do to help you. You need to be at your best, Commander. The crew relies on you for leadership. It can be a heavy burden. I can handle the responsibility of command. But if I don't stop Saren, the entire galaxy gets wiped out. I'm sorry, Commander. The last thing you need is someone constantly reminding you of how grim things are. Is there anything else you would rather talk about? I should go. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him, permanently. If Saren won't listen to reason, if he forces my hand, I'll kill him in a heartbeat. But only if it's absolutely necessary. But what's the point in keeping him alive? It just gives him an opportunity to escape, or convince the Council to listen to him. And what about the Geth? They might try to free him. We know more about Saren's plans than anyone. But what do we really know? If we just kill him, we lose the chance to find out. Yeah, I see your point. Do you really think there's more to know, other than the fact that he's a raving lunatic? Maybe, maybe not. But it's not a chance I'm willing to take. Commander, things got heated back on Vermeer. You did what you had to do. I respect your choice. I appreciate what you did, Rex. I won't forget it. Just make sure it was worth it. Saren has to pay for what he's done. We'll have him soon enough. Then he can answer for his crimes. He'll do more than just answer if I have anything to say about it. So long, Rex. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. You'll find the Conduit before he does. I know you will. You have to. And after this is all over, when my pilgrimage ends, and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. We couldn't have done this without you, Telly. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. I'm gonna miss you when you go back to your own people, Tally. That won't happen for a while yet. I'll be right here anytime you need me. I should go.
We saw your ship. Fidan wants to speak with you immediately. Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Look oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Help me find what the Geth are after and you'll all get out of here alive. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. What's Exogeny? It's the company most of us work for before the attacks. They fund this colony. The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. I didn't expect this would be easy. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. We'll get going then. That's close enough! Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? Commander Shepard. I'm here to remove your Geth problem. You see? You worry too much. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. Fidan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They're not dead, but the Geth have really pounded them. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from you. But I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. If she's in there, I'll get her out. Thank you, Commander. Thank you. Do you know what the Geth are after? I have no idea. We certainly haven't found anything of use. Something Exogeny is keen to remind us of. We need to recoup our expenses. It's nothing personal. Tell me about the colony. We established ourselves here four years ago. Growth was steady until the attacks. Our biggest challenge has been the lack of resources. There's just so little here of value. Still, we were making a go of it. It was even starting to feel like home. What brought you here? I guess I thought this would be the start of a new life. I wanted to go where I could feel like I was making a difference. Instead, everything we built is destroyed. It's very hard not to lose hope. How did you get split up from the Zeus Hope colony? Most of us live closer to the Exogeny building. Zeus Hope was mostly used as a port. When the Geth hit, we scattered. Until you told us about the others, we assumed they were killed in the first wave. If we had known they were still alive, we might have attempted to join them. They're fairly secure now. Maybe you should do that. No, 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 no. I don't think that's a good idea. We, we have no vehicles, and the Skyway offers little protection. Like the building we're in now? Listen, our best hope is to sit tight and wait for company reinforcements. They'll come eventually. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Damn it! I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth, or one of those Varen. You're safe now. But why were you here in the first place? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out, as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. It's very important I find out what they're after. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. Thorian? I have never heard of such a thing. It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I... I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. 
Do you know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Tell me about yourself. I'm just a research assistant for Exogeny. I came here with my mother. I don't even know if she made it out alive. She's with some others from the colony. She's safe for now. She's alive? Oh, thank God. I thought I was the only one left. Please, Commander, just get that field down so I can see my mother again. You stay put. I'll go open some doors. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with... STUPID MACHINE! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. All clear. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? Uh, how do you know I'm Lisbeth? Your access card identifies you as Elizabeth Bainham. Is there something you require, Dr. Bainham? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. Tell me everything you told the Krogan. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That explains their strange behavior. We should warn Joker. Joker! Come in, Joker! Damn it! That field's blocking us! We must find a way around the field. We must get back to Zoo's Hope. B.I., what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. What do you know about the Geth? I have no specifics on the Geth as they relate to this facility. All sensors have been purposely decommissioned since their arrival. I want to know about Exogeny Corporation. Exogeny Corporation is at the forefront of human expansion in the new galactic economy, funding colonial development and securing resource rights to ensure our progress as a species. Further inquiries regarding company policy may be directed to consumer information services during regular business hours. Who's in charge here? Who organized the research? All decisions about local resource analysis and acquisition are made by on-site management deferring to the board of directors only when seasonal quotas are missed or exceeded. Individual employee records are confidential. Tell me about the Thori. Species 37 was discovered several weeks ago when a small team was infected with spores while examining ruins near the Zoo's Hope outpost. The outpost was quarantined immediately and study of the infection began. Within 21 days, 58% of colonists exhibited altered behavior. Within 28 days, 85%. What's the size of this thing? The Thorian appears to be a diffused creature. Its cognitive abilities are centered in large nerve bundles, but it receives data from kilometers of meandering tendrils. We have discovered bundles approximately one meter in diameter, but these seem insufficient to coordinate the massive sensory potential it possesses. It may simply process such stimulation slowly, or perhaps there is a nerve cluster of a greater magnitude we have not yet encountered. Is it intelligent? Can I reason with it? The Thorian does not exhibit the focused behavior of a predator. The release of spores is an act of survival, not aggression. 
It does trigger advanced behaviors in the humans it enslaves, but we have yet to discover whether it recognizes or is capable of recognizing humans as more than tools. It is sufficiently alien as to defy classification at this time. Do you know how the creature controls its slaves? The will subversion manifests as intense pain if directives are ignored. The effect is severe enough that subjects are soon conditioned against even minor thoughts of rebellion. Observation suggests the Thorian views its thralls in a utilitarian way. Care is apparently taken to avoid injuring them, much as a craftsman avoids damaging his tools. As long as no action is taken against the creature's objectives, the subjects are free to pantomime a normal existence until specifically tasked with something. Where's the center of this thing? The Thorian is present as a weave of tendrils across much of the lower surface of Pharos. Observation of enslaved subjects suggests there may be key clusters that are tended by thralls. Unfortunately, direct observation of species 37 is limited or non-existent. Please access my personal files. Elizabeth Bainham, Research Assistant, Biomedical Division. Security Level 4 Exemption. You are currently under probation due to disagreements with management over established company policy. These sanctions may be lifted if your next evaluation is more agreeable. What triggered the probation? You were marked as combative about the operations of the Zoo's Hope Project, specifically regarding the handling of the infected colonists. As a result, you were tasked with monitoring the safety of the colonists for the duration of the observation. That's enough for now. There you are. We should get out of here. I don't think this place is safe. I need some answers. You knew more about the Thorian than you let on. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I, I... I never meant for this to happen. You did what you could. I'll help them, if you can tell me where to find the Thorian. The Thorian is underneath Zoo's Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. But why are the Geth after the Thorian? What could Saren want with it? Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm shatter. Looks like they're headed your way. Thanks for the heads up, Joker. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. That's my mom! Stop! Stop! They're over! You can't do this, Jong. Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what happened on a coos. This doesn't have to end like that. We can talk this out. Nobody needs to get hurt. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. You're after the one unique thing Pharos has. The Thorian. The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. Can't you see the inherent potential in this colony? Think of the promotional opportunities. Opportunities? What the hell are you talking about? They recovered from an alien attack on a frontier world. Add that to your company profile. Well, yeah, no one's ever gone broke playing the champion of humanity card. Sadly, you'd probably make a killing, but if it will let us get back to our lives, I'm for it. It just might work. Wait, no, but the infected colonists will throw a bit of a wrench in that plan. No, no, they need to disappear. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. 
If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. It's worth a try, but I don't know if I can avoid harming the colonists. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. I'm glad you've decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. What did you have in mind? I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. Releasing clouds of nerve gas doesn't seem like a particularly good idea. It's not like it's weapons grade. The insecticide we use in the grow labs contains trace amounts of tetraclopine, a neuromuscular degenerator. If their nervous systems are already weakened, it may act as a paralyzing agent. Dodgy. But it just might work. Sounds good. I'll do what I can. Excellent. Thank you so much, Commander. I don't know what that plant does to people, but that's not human. No hitting the colonists, even if the Thorian makes them fire on us. That's what the gas grenades are for. Whatever you say, Commander. Let's do it. I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't! I won't! Okay, we just have to find this thing and put a couple of rounds into... What the hell is that? That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be problematic. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren. Something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them, now! No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. I... I suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve... I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. I came to this world in search of the Thorian. Saren needed its knowledge, and he needed my biotic abilities to communicate with it. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. 
He knows you're following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. <laughs> I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. Are you all right, Shepard? What'd she do? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look a little queasy. We should get you back to the ship. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Do you know what the Conduit is? Or where it is? No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the Conduit was the key to the Prothean extinction. That can't be good, whatever it is. You have the Cypher. In time, your visions will clear. They will lead you to the Conduit. I only pray you find it before Saren does. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it, but I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form. A sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. What else can you tell me about Saren? There is little I could tell you that you do not already know. He's powerful, he's charismatic, and he is dangerous. Once I followed him, blind to his true nature, but now I see he's leading the galaxy into an age of darkness and suffering. I want to know more about you. There is nothing remarkable about me. I was merely one of Matriarch Benezia's disciples. 
For nearly two centuries, I followed her, learning at her feet. When Benezia revealed her plan to join Saren, she gave her disciples a choice. Only those who were willing had to follow her. Many felt her plan was too dangerous. But I believed in her. I thought she could turn Saren away from his insanity. Instead, we joined him in it. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. Commander, you look... pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the Cypher? The Cypher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! <laughs> call. A message sent out to cross the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers. But the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images. Locations. Places I recognize from my research. Ilos! The Conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mew Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. How come you never told us about Ilos before? The Mew Relay links to dozens of systems and hundreds of worlds. How was I to know Ilos was the one we wanted? Without the cipher, the images in your visions were never clear. It is only now that I recognize them as landmarks from Ilos. We have to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew Relay is inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The Conduit's on Ilos. That's where Saren is heading. I plan to be waiting when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You need to alert the Council. We need a fleet to... to... Oh, I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwas should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. Somewhere quiet. Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. Your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. We're done here. Dismissed. <laughs>